Hello everyone and welcome back to the Clay Cat Show. This is Claytonic here. I've uh, got a new Redstone tutorial for you. Or Redstone learning, teaching, I guess. I don't know how you would want to phrase it. But um, I'm going to be showing you how to do Redstone torch towers. And how to pass Redstone chains up the fastest way and down the fastest way. Okay, so it's, if you got all these long trails of redstone going up and down like little spiral towers, probably not the most efficient way to do it. I'm going to show you how to do it more efficient. So here you've got a torch tower, the basic of the basic torch towers right here. This is uh, one of the basic, most basic systems. When you click the button, as you can see, all the torches switch places. It's just how they work. When you turn on this block right here turns off this torch that torch unpowers this block which powers this torch which powers this block which unpowers this torch which powers uh which unpowers this block and powers that torch that's how this one works now if you want to do a door as you can see on the lamps it's not all the lamps are not off all the lamps are not on unfortunately torch towers don't work like that However, if you do want to do a torch tower that will power one item all the way up, as you can see, this one does. Powers all of them up, up uh, powers all of them on all the way up the chain. So how it works is this button power or powers this block, which unpowers this torch, which unpowers this block, which powers this torch, which powers this block, which unpowers this torch, so on and so forth, all the way to the top. And then in doing that, whenever you click the button, all the torches on the front will power the blocks above them and cause every single last one of these to turn on, as you can see. And because the power, redstone power is getting passed through it, it does kind of like a wave motion. It starts at the bottom and then goes to the top. Now the next one, if you didn't know, half slabs, you can actually pass redstone up half slabs, but you can't pass them down. So you click this button, as you can see, that light's on because all the redstone power's on. That's how it works. So whenever you click the button, it just passes each up each step all the way to the top. And once it gets to the top, it'll power whatever's at the top of it. However, the only problem with this one is that you got to throw repeaters in it every so often to keep the chain going because after a certain amount of blocks, the redstone signal will die out. And as you can see, whenever you click the button, it won't power down either. It does not power the redstone signal down. Unfortunately, that's just not how redstone works on this case. So, that it would not be the best way to power down. However, I do have a chain here that will power it using redstone torches and redstone. And as you can see, whenever you click this button, it powers them all the way down to the bottom. And watch the light at the bottom here. Boom, that light's on. Boom, that light's on. Okay, so that's how it works is powers this block which unpowers this redstone torch which unpowers this redstone which powers this torch which powers this redstone which unpowers this block and this torch which unpowers this redstone which powers or which powers this torch and this redstone will be powered which unpowers this torch this one will be unpowered which powers this torch and then so on and so forth all the way down it's just how it works it's pretty cool it's nifty and once again this does one of those wave motions all the way down unfortunately you can't just have all of them turn off and all of them turn on at once unless you want to get into an intricate redstone system so simplest way to pass down a redstone chain right there and that's it for this video uh, tune in for the next video and we'll see you over there